Hi everybody, here's my birthday present for the European Sustainable Week 2021. Uh, this is a solar heat collector, which is really easy and simple to make. I know there's like these tin can versions, some kind of mesh versions, and other type of solar collectors which are Pretty easy to make, but some take a little bit more effort to build than this. This is really simple and easy to make for anybody. And manufacturing costs are really cheap. So the base plate is uh, in this version 1,100 millimeters times 2050 millimeter. And the basic construction is that you have the bottom. Bottom plate is 20 millimeter thick uh, fin foam or any kind of uh, insulating material, which is cheap and easy to get. It can be plywood, wood panel, anything, which you can bolt on, on the wall of your house. Uh, after that, you will have these 20 millimeter times 20 millimeter uh, ribs, which go at, in my version at the moment, I have five of them. Uh, these will be screwed or riveted to the bottom plate, equal caps. Plan is to have them on the sides, on each side. And on top of that, you have this aluminum foil, in my version, I have used 500 millimeter wide aluminum foil, so the spacing is 250 millimeter gaps in this. And then you just rivet it fastened here and you paint it black so it absorbs the solar heat uh, real well, matte black. Also, the bottom of the uh, uh, foam needs to be black. You can extra uh, glue here, also aluminum foil on top of the uh, fin foam and make it black if you want to get even more better performance, but that's not necessarily needed. So the tunnels under the uh, or between the fin foam and uh, this aluminum foil is 20 millimeters. It should be quite optimal. And on top of that, uh, there's also a gap, which at the moment is 29, 30 millimeters. Uh, the optimum is 20 to 30 millimeters. You need to test it. I haven't been able to make it this one myself yet, but the construction is pretty sound. How you make it work? The air comes in from the bottom, I have put here 140 millimeter hole because I will use 140 millimeter uh, fans. They create enough airflow and are cheap and easy to get anywhere. I will come back to which type of fan I will use. Uh, here you have room to put your solar panels. You need small solar panels which produce enough uh, watts to run the fans without any external energy source and between the wires from the solar panels to the fan you also need to build an electric switch so it only runs when there's enough heat inside this construction so it doesn't blow cold air when it's winter months going and cold air comes in from the uh, lower side and hot air is then going in from the top, so you need to drill in this version two holes to your wall. Uh, in addition, I have added here four small holes where you get actually cold outside air, which is fresh, joining in the circulation, so you get a little bit of extra cold air or fresh air all the time inside the house, so it's not just circulating the inside air and making it hotter. You might need it, you might not need it, you can decide. Uh, then the top cover, this is six millimeter thick uh, polycarbonate uh, twin wall. 
sheet which is pretty easy and cheap to get. The price of this 6mm thick panel 1050 times uh, 2 meters is 26 euros. 26 euros only for this one panel. You can buy a thicker one which insulates of course better but it's a little bit more expensive. I will test is 6 enough or is 10 millimeter thickness how much better at some point. And there you just screw the uh, panel to the wall directly through these fin foam sides. And there's your rough version of the solar heater. Uh, you can make nice sheet metal sides to look it really professional because the, depending which kind of wood you use or foam you use it doesn't look so pretty already but you can that's just fine tuning. How about the cost of this uh, uh, product? The fans cost only like six seven euros per piece. I'm using Arctic F14 fans they have the best performance for the money. Then you need 12 volt solar panels. Uh, this you need to test which wattage is enough. Usually 6 watt solar panel is already definitely enough, but depending on which kind of fan you might need a little bit less or more. It also affects how well the fan speed goes when you get more heat. It should be optimized, the fan speed, depending on the temperature. Then the 6 millimeter uh, polycarbonate sheet that costs 26 euros in Finland. Fin foam is pretty cheap. It takes 10 euros of the budget. Uh, I have calculated it with 300 millimeter aluminum foil. Uh, that's cheap. You use few euros for that. And then the switch, depending how cold or hot air you want to uh, circulate inside your house, it's about one euro. Per square meter, the cost is 53 euros. If you buy them big amounts, you will drop the cost to half. So the two square meter heater size will cost 100, 130 euros to make, even in small series. If you squeeze the prices down or get some better parts which work, you will get even more cheaper options. How much? Uh, what it's, it will produce two square meters means it will produce about 500 watts per square meter max max so you will get about a uh, thousand watts which means during the year it will produce about thousand kilowatt hours of electricity or heat. In Finland you can calculate 0 0.15 kilowatt hour euros per kilowatt hour. So you will save each year hundred and fifty euros. So uh, this construction will save its uh, construction material cost already in one uh, one year. So it's pretty cheap and efficient way to save a little bit of money, especially if you have some kind of summer cottages where you don't want to keep the heat on all the time. This is really good way to keep basic heat on some kind of summer cottage. Construction is like that. Thanks for watching and share your thoughts. Uh, it still needs optimizing on the calculation parts to find which is the optimal gaps there. Is it the 20 milliliter gaps on each side or should the lower gap be, be a little bit smaller and upper half sub, have a little bit higher gap? And which is the optimal uh, thickness for this polycarbonate sheet? Uh, Thanks for watching and keep saving our planet.